Hey, good morning. What's happening, guys? What's going on YouTube? Thank you guys for tuning into Rules for Rebels. Uh, today for you guys, I got a, uh, a t-shirt designing tutorial. Wanted to show off kind of a, a cool Chrome extension um, that I've been finding really, really helpful. And, and I think you guys may find it useful as well. So what this extension is, it's called Eyedropper. And it basically allows you to color match any image from the web. Um, so if you want to color match an image from the internet, you can do that. If you want to color match an image from a vector file or a piece of clip art that you have, you can do that. And I'm going to show you guys in just a moment here. But basically, let's say, uh, for example, I, I got this image of a snail. And let's say I want to put some text on this shirt. And I want this shirt to say, you know, I don't know, we'll, we'll have it say sticky icky because snails are sticky, kind of cute. Um, but I want the text to match this green color. So um, one thing that we could do is we could just get some text. And we could write sticky icky. And we could pull it up here. And then we could try to color match it with this green. And oh, well, that's not right. And we could go into the color chart and, and try to get it just right. But it's never going to wind up perfect. So what this tool is going to allow us to do is perfectly match a color from this vector image, from the internet, from anything else. Um, and I gotta give a shout out, gotta give some props to uh, Neil Lass, I believe it's Neil Lassen from Merch Informer. Um, I was watching one of his Merch Informer tutorial videos to, to figure out how to do something with a pop socket. And he just kind of briefly, casually mentioned this tool in passing. And I was like, that's actually a really cool tool that's actually kind of really powerful and it solves a problem that I've run into before is trying to match colors. So I'm surprised I'd never heard of this one, but props to Neil for, for turning me on to it. Uh, the same strategy will work in Canva, but let me show you guys how, how this will work. So um, up here we have this eyedropper uh, Chrome extension. So what we would do, we'd click, uh, click eyedropper, and then we would click pick a color from the web. Now we go hover, hover over the color that we want. So we want this green from the snail. So we're going to hover over that. We're going to click it. If we come back up to eyedropper, it's recognized the color. And I forget what they call this. I don't know if this is called like hex, hex charts or something like that. Uh, but this first number right here is what we want, the 287026. So we're going to copy that. We're going to come over here. We're going to get our text. Nope. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's see. Let's open up a new text box there. We're going to pick our text. We're going to drag it up here. We're going to type sticky icky. And then when we go up to the color chart here, we have a text color right here. We're just going to uh, highlight that, paste in a new color. And now Sticky Icky perfectly matches the, the color of this snail. And we kind of have some congruency there. Now, um, for those of you guys who are maybe using something like Canva, uh, you can do the same thing. You know, if, uh, if we get this eyedropper tool, we're going to pick a color from the web. We want this purple color, so we're going to come over and pick that. Then we're going to open up a text box here. Hit the text wheel there. Um, let's see, I think we go to add a new color and under FFF. Oh, did I not get the right color? I think I maybe forgot to uh, copy that purple there. Pick a color. Put our color into that color wheel there. That's good. And now our sticky icky is perfectly matching uh, the, the snail's body here. So um, I thought that was a pretty cool tool. I don't know if you guys have found yourself in this position of, of either trying to, to match a background to a color element from a vector file or a piece of clip art or trying to match text. Uh, but really cool tool, has a lot of different uses. I uh, just kind of wanted to show that to you guys. And again, props to uh, to Neil for, for kind of uh, turning me on to that tool. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make a video, share that with you guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button below. And uh, let me know if you guys kind of like this kind of video with some of these kind of little design tricks and things like that. You know, maybe some of this stuff is, is stuff you guys already know. I'm definitely not a designer by trade. I don't have a ton of design experience. I'm kind of learning as I go. Um, I outsource some of my stuff. I do some of my own stuff. But, you know, every day I'm kind of learning more about design and different tools and things like that. Um, so, you know, if you guys are interested in that, let me know. And I'll kind of share with you guys kind of what I'm, what I'm picking up and what I'm learning. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And have a great day.